so uh it's currently sunday <laughs> sunday around 2 30 just came back from springfield park uh went with the hottest human on earth and <laughs> yeah wanted to get techies that's why i went to springfield park and so went past went past um pick and pay to get handy handy but we came back with these many things not too many things. this something that i need this thing is expensive why is this so expensive this is like 28 or something usual what we went there for <laughs> that cute coffee that i want to try i don't know but yeah i want to try this out why does it still have this i don't know don't know but yeah this is the coffee and cranberry juice always a good idea <laughs> yeah no you know and mints always need meat yeah that's oh yeah i wanted to go get meat he want he wanted to get heavy and because he said that's what we're going to get and then beef i wanted lamp as well but there was no lamp it was just bark lamp so yeah and then wanted water and then refill water go mama or man this is actually five rand because it's one rand per liter second water bottle so this is only 10 rand and oh yeah and then uh he got auras for his place so all of these things guys just how many items 10 items close to 400 rand which is stupid like that's how bad our economy is and yeah really sad Nguti is Pila Landry. Anyways, yeah, uh, shout out to people that come and buy things at your house. So you should have visitors all the time, yeah, boy, so that visitors buy things for your house so you don't have to buy them. Okay, so I want to get on with some cooking. Uh, I already taken out and marinated chicken breast, so I'll cook that with veg. Like, I think I'll make, I will make, uh, chicken and mushroom creamy chicken and mushroom and veg so that's what i'm making for dinner and will be lunch for tomorrow as well so that's my dinner sorted uh, i don't need to prepare a lot of food because on tuesday night i'll be going out with uh, my colleagues and then on wednesday again i think our department is also going out like on my on tuesday there's a birthday that i'm going to celebrate tuesday um, and then Wednesday I'm going out with colleagues so I don't need to cook Google Long Ning so that's why I'm only preparing a meal for me to eat tonight and um, tomorrow for lunch and yeah and I'm alone two men has left so yeah that's what we're doing Okay, hi guys. <laughs> I'm having this coffee that I just bought. I wanted to taste it because somebody said it's going to be too strong and it is very strong. <laughs> but I like it. It's, it's a nice bold. <laughs> so uh, before we get into this video, it has started already but before we get into this conversation do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel uh i do content for graduates <laughs> students and candidate attorneys and people that are interested in law lifestyle of a law graduate or whatever you may call it so if you are interested in that kind of stuff do stick by and i always like trying coffee so also recommend places for good coffee in durban because i'm currently in durban Anyways,
questions you must ask at work at the end of the interview firstly to decipher whether is this the place that you want to work in and also to also determine Uguti, where do you fit in and also assess Uguti, how will how long will you stay in that position and uh, all of those things because Mina those are decisions that I make when I accept a, a role do you have to answer to ask questions at the end of the interview do not say you don't have any questions and this is one to demonstrate that you are well prepared for the job and also the reason why you ask questions besides understand what is it a toxic place or not the reason why you ask uh, questions also is to determine ability and to also show what you are interested in that particular position and also show what you have done your research about the company so questions that you must ask must be related to the company to the role and to the overall environment so some of the questions that i'll ask the last question that i'll ask is about money if it's not advertised that's the last question i'll ask if it's advertised you don't really need to ask that question unless it's like they ask you and then you're negotiated i would say especially in entry jobs when they tell you how much is the money on the advert and most of the time they do show what is it negotiable or not and also with money also uh i would say it's the last question i'd ask if it's not advertised if it's not spoken about throughout the interview with money by the time that you get to the place where you are asking questions that question should have come up or should have that should have been discussed anyways so these are examples of questions that i'll ask let me close this window these are examples of questions that I would ask. The first question that I would ask is, how does a person's, so what's the day-to-day -day responsibilities of a person in this role? Some companies are not honest about the, the role that they, that they advertise and the role that they are interviewing for. So it's very important to ask, okay, Men have a figure who asanda and I'm sad go seven fifty or eight, whatever time that she gets here. What is she expected to do? Uh, tell them that can you take me through how is a day to day look like for somebody in the position that I'm being interviewed for? They will tell you how it is. And then two, then you decide, do I want this? And then the most important question that I think in any role that you are being interviewed for is to ask, how does the company deal with mistakes of individuals? If a person makes mistakes in this role, what, do, what does the company do? How is it addressed and how is it fixed? That's the question you must ask them because that would make help you determine whether is this place toxic or not the culture you don't need to ask about the culture because if you ask about the culture of the company they'll tell you that you're hard working uh we work hard but we play hard that's the question that's the answer that i've always gotten before i understood it that's not how i, I should um frame the question the way that i should frame it is what is the culture here uh, not what is the culture rather but how do you deal with mistakes of individuals that mistakes and make it clear mistakes that could cost the company money that could cost the company clients how do you guys deal with that if they can answer that question and most of the time they have not with most of the time they will answer it and then they you decide if there's no room for mistakes you decide you think you have to buy in this toxic environment because that's very toxic or not and that's the question that you should ask every time you get interviewed because you know what you are getting into you know this is how um thingy and then when they're saying uh another thing that they say okay so you ask maybe you make a mistake and say what's the company culture they say we work hard and we play just as hard ask them what does working hard actually mean ask them what, what does working hard mean 
ask them that. And then ask them a question about uh, micromanagement. That's another question, management style. Ask them, Guti, does the manager maybe show up at your desk every time? Where, like ask about how is the reporting done for work? Is a person expected to submit stats every day? Is a person expected to uh, to report you to your 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 perfume like every bathroom they go into they go into the bathroom they're taking a phone call they're going to the shop ask them how is the reporting monitoring and reporting done in the company ask that question because that also helps you determine with are you coming to be um to be hoarded or are you coming to work are you are, are they when they are did, when they are monitoring or Assessing are they assessing work or back at band? Like, cause some more some people, some managers prefer gata band than gata recipients. So, ask a question on the management style and not just the management style, but the monitoring and reporting of the company. How to, how is it done? Are are you expected to make a presentation of Uguti? How did my day go every day? Are you expected to? Um, to do to, to be seated at your desk the whole day if you are not you have to write a report as to i was not seated at this particular time because of this and this ask those questions because they will help you decide on OOT. are you taking this job especially when you are changing jobs this is particularly important when you are changing jobs unlike somebody who's just wanting their first job. That's a different story. But if you are changing jobs, it's very important to ask those questions and some of the things that I didn't ask and some of the ways that I didn't ask. I'm, I've grown wiser with more interviews and more things. Uti, how are things done? Those are very important questions to ask. And if you are a person like me who just likes freedom at work, used to enjoy my role as a candidate attorney because I had freedom to do my work. I had freedom to do mistakes and then be, be assisted with uh, preparing uh, to fixing them, doing whatever. I enjoyed that. And every other role that I interview for from now on <laughs> is the one of the things that I want to determine. How much freedom am I going to get here? How much am I going to be led to develop myself and to find myself as a, a as a professional because if if you are going into an environment where you are monitored so strictly and you're expected to act in a particular way you are unlikely to ever find your feet and find your way as to how do you deal with work how do you do certain things and that will obviously likely make you not like your job very much because you don't even understand yourself in the role and it's very important to determine with him am i here to be like the other person who was in this role or am i here to develop myself as an individual while obviously uh contributing to the to the organization obviously because that's what you want they want you to, to, to give them something you want something as well especially for a career then the final question that i'll ask is around growth how is, like so the way that i would phrase some of this is how how is the the what is the promotional thingy procedure of promotion how is it done that's not how i'd phrase the question i'm just trying failing to find the words right now but how is uh promotion um uh, done in the company and how um how is growth determined in the company? When do I see myself as having grown in this role, uh, grown in this role? So if, for example, I'm in the role for three years, will I still be in the same position? If I'm, if I'm still in the company for three years, will I still be in the same position and doing the same thing or do, do things differ, do things change? Those are some of the questions that you must ask because some companies and some roles that you might be getting into you might be getting into a company to do the same role for the next 50 years if you stay there long enough. You might be getting into a company or into a role and you'll do the same routine every day. And if you are not a routine person, the answer that you get from that 
will determine you will see how long do you stay in the company and also how long do you stay in the role even if it means um changing within the company ask uh, uh, another way question that i'll ask is if you are in this role say for example i'm an illegal like right now say my position is a legal advisor what's the next thing that i am am i a senior legal advisor am i a senior assessor whatever it is ask how does a career of a person who has been here for five years look like how does yes i think that the way that i would phrase that question is how does a career of somebody who has been here for five years look like is this person still in the junior level that i'm getting into or is this person now looking more at senior senior levels or whatever but that said i uh, hope you guys are having a good day i hope that you are going to be more prepared if you are going into an interview this uh, week or very soon if you're watching this video because you are preparing for an interview. Good luck and ask relevant questions, especially if you are thinking of changing companies because you might be changing companies and you get into worse than what you thought you were going. Maybe get into something worse than what you had before because you didn't ask the relevant questions that you should have asked in order to determine the environment of the company you are going in. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you on my next video. Oh, I'll show you the food that I made later on once it's done. I think Yasha. See you later. Bye. Okay, so this is the mix from the Woolies that I bought, I think, a week ago. And yeah, um, had to add potatoes because butternut, EBCC, Ndala. In India, so I was like, might as well just add more potatoes because it was a show nangal. Anyways, this is I'm going to put this in the oven for like 20 minutes and thereafter do the chicken because chicken gets ready in like 10 minutes, so might as well start. With this. And this is so fast. I forgot to show you when it started. Like this is so fast, it's already turned it and it's only been two minutes. Okay, so this looks very different. Very weird, I know creamy thingies look very different. It looks white than it actually is. It's yellowish in color. So yeah, I've done the reduction of it. This is very good. This is gonna be very nice and it's one of those meals that I'm like uh I know Bay would have enjoyed this, but it's gone. So it's all mine. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna let it simmer for the next 10 to 15 minutes in dinner time.